we invite you to a motorcycle adventure across the Balkans. After three days of driving from Poland, we arrived in one of the most beautiful cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Mostar. Situated between mountains, it looks like a dream and enchants us with its medieval charm. And the famous bridge over the Naredva River is the symbol of this city, connecting two completely different worlds, Muslim and Christian. The pubs and souvenir stalls attract numerous tourists, but the real magic of Mostar shows itself after sunset, when the city is illuminated by numerous lanterns. Next up on our journey, we head to the main beauty of the Croatian Adriatic, Dubrovnik. This medieval city captivates us with its beauty and wealth of various moments. Next, our destination is the Bay of Kotor, with the charming city of Kotor in Montenegro. This is the largest bay in the Adriatic, which is surrounded by the Dinaric Mountains. Its absolutely stunning coastline, spanning over 100 kilometers, is considered one of the most beautiful coastlines in the whole world. The city of Kotor, along with its massive fortifications, is undoubtedly the biggest tourist attraction in the area. However, the truly amazing views of the bay are discovered during the serpentine route towards Setin. Staying overnight, we are greeted by a beautiful overview of the coast. Moving on, we head toward Lake Škodra, located both in Montenegro and Albania. Along the way, we visit another medieval town, Budva, and the picturesque island of St. Stephen. Crossing the gate of the old town of Udva, you get the impression that time stopped here many centuries ago. Narrow streets, medieval temples, stores and restaurants add to the unique charm of this place. In the distance, you can also see the island of St. Nicholas, which adds additional charm to this breathtaking landscape.
Going across the island of St. Stephen, which has been converted into a luxury hotel, we continue our trip toward Lake Skodra. The largest body of water on the Balkan Peninsula. Driving along the old route from the village of Verbazar along the southern shore of the lake provides one of the most beautiful scenic routes found in Montenegro. Our next stop on the trip is the village of Teth, located in the Thethid National Park, at an altitude of about 700 meters above sea level. It is set in the heart of the North Albany Mountains, which are also known as the Cursed Mountains. The village of Teth is one of the most isolated places in Europe. It is reached by the SH-21 road, which, on its final 12-kilometer stretch, was until recently a narrow, steep, rocky one, and generally speaking, very dangerous. Access to Teth is now much easier thanks to the fact that Ashveld has been laid throughout the previously rocky section. An unforgettable adventure with beautiful landscapes awaits us here. at the road ahead of us and off we go. The first kilometre away from the overnight stay is a reminder of the road that once led to Teth. We then set off for the Tara Valley, an enchanting blue river that still chugs down a magnificent canyon that reaches 1,300 meters in height, making it the deepest canyon in Europe. by incredible forests and majestic mountain peaks and the view from the Derdavika bridge is simply unbelievable. Dermitor National Park, part of the Dinaric Mountains shaped by glaciers and rivers, awes us with its scenic routes. In particular, the P14 route through the Dermitor Mountains from the village of Zabuljak to Lake Pivsko is a must-see on our trip to Montenegro.
Autumn is the ideal time to visit the Balkans, as there are fewer tourists and the climate is not so hot. motorcycle adventure is coming to an end, but we are already excited to share more information from our unforgettable trips.